what's going on YouTube just want to do a quick little video before um, the New Year's happens got just finished up shipping out a couple product the gold star sleeves we're missing the sealed uh, trial deck of uh, Sakura Jima Mai Bunny Senpai it's gone definitely um, one of the biggest sales I've ever made for a sealed product uh, we got quite a few things here display cabinets looking kind of bare we don't have too much there we got some data bullet uh, we got some JP Hall Live, I love RWBY, also known as Ruby. We got some trial decks, some cases, some quintuplet cases there too. Um, and we got the Idol Masters, my favorite, right? Uh, long story short, we got a PS5 controller. That's not doing anything. Uh, we're sorting out cards. Yeah, we're going to talk about that one in a minute. Um, Got some sleeves up here. We got Peko, Shuba, Coco, and Corone. And uh, yeah, let's have a little conversation. Flip this around. Whew. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's very, very cold out there. Um, long story short, a lot of people have been doing videos about 2021 good, bad, the ugly. Uh, you know, we're going to make this short simple and sweet. Long story short, the bad for 2021 for me uh, was jumping the gun on English Hollow Live. I'm losing about 5,000 right off the bat. Right off the bat. I jumped the gun, they changed the box uh, ratio, and the cost of goods went up. Boom. I'm screwed. I got hit. Got hit pretty hard. And the second one is this Quint set. Um, I didn't think it was ever going to be this bad. Like... I, yeah, I don't know where it's at. It's not coming to me. Long story short, I sold 45 quints set on 12.7. I was supposed to receive, or probably like earlier than that. It's like probably like uh, November, end of November-ish. And it's supposed to come in about December 12th. It didn't. It got here on the 17th. So then it was shipped to me. And two of the products got to me, and the other two has been in FedEx uh, Purgatory for the past 14 days. So, uh, you know, 100% will give you your money back. i um, waiting for it. I don't, I don't know when it's coming in. Uh, long story short, I'm going to get more Quint set because I do love Quints. And, um, yeah, those are my two, two of the biggest ones this year, uh, I would have to say. But the winners, I would have to say for... The sealed products is SAO V2. As long as the numbered asana number one is not found, money. Quince tuplet boosters, money. I love that set. It is money. Um, data bullet will go up eventually. All extra boosters go up. And Ruby, I don't understand why it's uh, so cheap on TCG player. There's another guy that was uh, liquidating um, the extra boosters for data bullet. Those may be mapped. So they may not have any any hits on them. Like 50 bucks for a booster, are you serious? If you buy 16, are you going to get a sealed case? Plain and simple, I ask that question. If it's not a sealed case, all of that stuff's mapped. That means that you're just getting dead boxes because the SPs and the, um, the SPs triple rares and the um, RWBY rare, yes, it's Ruby, I get it, but RWBY rare, they're going for pretty good money. Um, I just, I, I, I'm not understanding the numbers there. Um, people are liquidating. People um, have been overbuying. Uh, and, you know, a lot of the other, uh, a lot of the distributors do credit card purchases, so they may be over leveraged. Uh, luckily, uh, I started really small, uh, and that's with uh, this particular product three years ago. This is it right here. This is one my number one sells. Um, 25 bucks a box. Bought it from Southern Hobby. Sold it for 50 and just kept snowballing now to this i have a spot uh so ladies and gentlemen if you want to come on by sacramento california um uh, just let me know ahead of time uh i'll open up the shop for you it's where you can get deals whatever you want we will make it happen well i'll make it happen if you're just dealing with me directly um but yeah it, it's been i've been blessed to have like the support of the consumer base um you guys on youtube uh people have just been recommending gold star collectibles for the past year now heavily um, because there's been a lot of unique things happening on Facebook backpack sellers all these things have been like bad deals been going back and forth 
you know, I do mine through PayPal. I do mine through uh, uh, Square. We make everything legitimate here. Um, I don't want no shenanigans, right? You don't want none. I don't want none either. Um, but I love making deals. I wanted to open up a place where you guys can call me and say, hey, I want to pick up XYZ. I do have a lot of extra product and I'll make it happen. Um, right now, internationally, I've been shipping out a lot of international stuff. So that's been going really well. Um, got a guy in Germany. Japan is really big right now. Australia as well. The surprising uh, thing for this year was Recross. That is a game. Let me grab the box right here. This particular game is definitely something you might want to look into. Uh, it's very, very uh, niche right now. But the numbers have been very good. Uh, a lot of people have trying to have been trying to get greedy on those, but you know me, right? I'm just gonna mess around. Um, I don't get greedy, and you know we just sell at regular prices every single time. It doesn't matter. Um, it, it is what it is, right? I don't want people to start eye gouging just because a product's hot. You know, it's not. That's what I'm not here for to eye gouge right away. Yes, I will eye gouge on different products. Like if you see me hold. Let's say these quintuplets, if I hold it for like one, two years because I love the quintuplets and you want to get it out of my hands, you're paying a premium. Now, that's the only time I will ever eye gouge. JP products, nah, don't really care for too much for JP. Hollow Live JP boosters, yes, love it. Uh, just love it, right? I think uh, prediction for 2022, English Hollow Live, big. That's going to be the biggest. My Sakura Jima Mai sealed trial deck uh, box sealed probably will still stay the highest sold. Uh, if the Asuna number one is found, that will probably be the highest sold uh, and probably the most expensive card to English Weiss. Uh, I know there's some stuff out there about an STR, 100%, don't believe it. No sales data. It, it's, not, it's not for the US. <laughs> it's not for English, right? Um, it's right now, it's due Yukina at 12k. And then if Asuna comes out, I heard somebody put a bounty up for 15k, so that would be the number one uh, most expensive card uh, in English. The biggest card in Japanese, I guarantee you it will be. If there is, because what I heard, there was supposed to be a premium box for the Hollow Life Festival, which is supposed to carry Gura Gura's SP. That right there, if there is an SP of Gura Gura, game over. Number one most expensive card uh, in Weiss history. You graded a BGS 10 black label. Skyrocket, rocket ship to the moon, probably quarter million. Easy money right there. Insanity. Because um, she's probably one of the most popular uh, English hollow livers out there. And you know what? Black label Gura Gura. Woo. Even, even I have to say something like that. Um, Especially when I saw the Black Label Miku, I th I, that was a beautiful product. Um, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing quite a few things. Uh, a lot of people do like my um, payment plans. Um, we're still going strong on that. I also opened up the borders for Canada at a $25 flat rate shipping. So we do uh, flat rate shipping on $25. bucks. we will eat the other costs. We'll get it over to Canada. Um, normally, cases are your main portion of it because if you want to buy half cases, it's still $25. Bucks. Uh, so basically $25 per case, we'll ship it to Canada, no questions asked, we'll make it happen. Uh, there's just a lot of things that we're doing here that I'm trying to get uh, a little bit more visibility on. And I think that for 2022, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do something a little bit different. You know how T-Mobile did the uncarrier movement and just destroyed everybody um, in the cellular industry? They had to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try the un LGS movement. So I'm going to think about a couple things that we're going to do to implement something strong, grand, uh, just to shake up the industry, just to make sure that people uh, uh, keep on their toes. Just like backpackers, you know. Backpackers keep me on my toes because I used to be one. Dude, we used to, we, man, as long as you're good, dude, you start, you start getting a headwind, game over. Someone like me, if I see something like that, yeah, I'm going to follow. I'm going to figure out what you're doing, what you're doing right, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to implement it myself and make it better. That's the whole thing. Um, again, you know, 
Uh, I've been blessed to do this for about three years, and I think we're still going to keep going strong for another years to come. I'm going to be expanding. I want JP Pokemon. I want to see, figure out the Pokemon industry. We want, I want everything um, that I can have underneath this roof and be able to make sure that everybody gets a good price, everybody gets a fair price. Um, a lot of people will say, you know what, LGS owners have to tax all this XYZ. No, they don't. They don't have to do anything. It's like saying like when you have Pokemon charging real MSRP 150 for the box and you got it for $80, okay, you sell 100 of those. When um, you got overhead, you already paid for your overhead now, when are you going to bring it down? Right? When are you going to bring it down? That's greed. You get greedy. Um, and that's the whole thing about this industry that I don't like and I'm going to figure out how to change it. If it doesn't change, it doesn't change. People don't like me, they don't like me. They're probably laughing at me losing 5k right off the back on English Hall Live because I jumped the gun. But I'll fight through it and I'll make it happen. And we'll make sure we get everybody taken care of. Um, we're going to have more whiteboard videos like you see in the background right there. Uh, with Coco Shuba and all those girls right there. We're going to do some whiteboard videos. Kind of showcasing, you know, down, downward spiral. How I feel about Nazareth what's going to happen with the industry. Um, all those different things are going to come in 2022, so we're going to do a little bit more uh, videos on those. I do want to expand on maybe uh, kind of like different content, like video games and things like that. So, or I might just switch that to a different channel. Um, I'm just trying to figure things out. But I am going on a, like, I would have to say more of a what to do. So the month of January is going to be all strategic. I didn't, I purposely didn't buy Bang Dream um, because of this. You know, I've been red hot. I haven't had time to think. I want to think about the biggest next on the LGS movement that can happen in the industry. Um, especially by me in the white horse industry, okay? Not like, yeah, Pokemon industry is tough. I'm, I'm a, I'll be a guppy over there. Uh, but for like white Schwartz and all these different things that the anime community wants, I want to do something that's going to just disrupt people and just make something unique uh, happen. Because, hey... We gotta have change, and we always gotta improve, and that's what I'm here for. And ladies and gentlemen, if you have any good suggestion, comments, or whatever, hit, put it down below. I will be reading every single one. If you have something that is could change the industry, that can just disrupt the industry, let me know. I want to know your thoughts because I want to make 2022 something for the record books, especially, you know, I'm ending this year selling my trial deck box. I want to end next year with something, <laughs> probably something more crazier than that, right? I don't want it to be, okay, I'm going to sell a box. I want, to, I want it to be something big. Maybe if I get big enough, we're going to donate something, um, you know, help the kids out or stuff like that. Because right now, I've been picking up Pokemon for the kids because my friends and family um, are like, hey, I can't get no Pokemon. What do you want me to do? And I pick it up, you know, still the distributor cost is a little bit higher. But I don't even charge them. I just give it to them because it's for the kids, right? Kids want trading cards. Grown ups buy out the ultra premium collections and all those lunch pails just to get some booster packs. Kids can't buy them, and that sucks. But as long as I know it's for the kids, I take care of all of that stuff. And so um, maybe uh, at the end of next year we could do something for the kids um, and make it something grand. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys support me, and we're gonna be keep going. Um, let's rock a ship to the moon. Yes, I do have Shiba Inu. That's my crypto of the year. I love Shiba Inu. The only reason why I bought it, I like the logo. I didn't buy Dogecoin because I hated the logo. I bought the logo for that. That's the only reason. Um, but other than that, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful 2021 while it ends. And let's have a wonderful 2022 as it begins. All right, y'all. Again, thank you very much for the support. I'll see you next year.